Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series episode 64. This is the first time we're going to be looking at picking an object, and this is a throwback to a previous episode where we were reading pixels. So we'll be using the same kind of thing to pick an object, and we're going to be doing a few episodes on picking because uh, there's different uh, ways to do this, but they all ultimately end up using the same kind of strategy uh, as you will see shortly. So digging into our program here, first thing to note is that we're making a cube here and we're making all of the sides be red. So no G's and B's, and we're red, which is one here, which will be 255 when we get it back when we're reading the pixels. Um, everything here is the same. We've added a mouse down event, which will be used to read the pixels in state. Uh, everything here is basically the same as previous episodes, so nothing to see here. And finally, we're going to be using our UI utils from before, where we're taking the pixel input to canvas coordinates, which you can look at the previous episode that I said, and using the uh, read pixels function here. And then finally, when our pixels are loaded from this function, if the first pixel, which is the red, is 255, we will know we've selected the cube. And the way this is ultimately going to end up working in later episodes, as you'll see, is each object is going to have a predefined uh, color uh, schematic of RGB assigned to it, knowing such that you know uh, which object is being selected. So, uh, but for now we just have the one, so we're just going to see if it's 255, and if it is, we know the red cube is being selected. So if we're clicking anywhere around here, we're not really going to get it, but then once we select it, you could see the cube has been selected. So even if we go ahead and throw it way back in the, the distance here, it, unless we're clicking on that tiny little cube, now uh, we know that we're not going to be selecting it. So this is a very common strategy in games and uh, other types of uh, applications that use uh, OpenGL and WebGL and whatnot for selecting an object. So uh, like I said, we'll be digging in this to, for a few more episodes to show different strategies about how to do it and still display exactly what you want because obviously you don't always want to display a pure red cube. So uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, please like the video. It'll help me a lot. Uh, subscribe, share it on social media, if you will, and go to programtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.